let's start from the beginning. You uh, guys started in 2018. So how did it all come together then in Copenhagen, was it? Yes, yes. We are we are based in in Copenhagen, uh, in Denmark, and I mean, 2018 is sort of the what can we say uh, 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 the, the the year of the band origin because that's when that's when we when we expanded to being three members. We uh, we we were uh, two members, or I mean, it was me. I'm my, my name is Emil, and I'm 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 the lead singer and guitarist in internalist and uh, i played with the drummer frederick uh, back then for a couple of years until we found out we eventually had to you know move away from being a duo to actually have more people so we so we had our second guitarist morton to join 2018 recorded some music uh, released an ep um, just the three of us got and got got a, got a basis to 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 play a couple of shows he eventually quit because he had to move then we got a big boy here, Kelly, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to join it. And I guess, I guess, I guess in some way you're still the new guy <laughs> in the band, although you've, you've, you've been with us for, for, for a while now. Um, but Kelly is American. Um, um, he's sort of the American element in the band, but he also, I mean, does have a certain Finnish connection, I guess you can say. Uh, my, my dad's from, uh, Yveskira, so it's, my um, my last name is, is Tihonen, so it's, it's also caused some some confusion. We've seen uh, some magazines said we were a Finnish a Finnish tech death band and stuff like yeah. that. <laughs> That's a very Finnish name. <laughs> yeah. It is a very Finnish name, but 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 uh, so so we like to clear up that sort of, uh, that out of the way. yeah yeah just to begin with. But there is a Finnish connection in the band, though although we are uh, uh, a Danish American band, or define ourselves as that. Yeah, so uh, from the beginning, uh, was it uh, hyper trash all the way, or uh, has that like kind of uh, come with time from uh, in these three years? So, or... I think, I think, I think the the inspiration was there was there to begin with. Um, um, I mean, we we have always, or at least my sort of uh, playing style, my inspiration ha- has always sort of, sort of been been based in 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 or around uh, thrash metal to a very large extent. Um, um, but but I guess the the the, the hyper uh, uh, element came came more into being when when uh, Frederick, our drummer, he he actually began taking blast beats uh, seriously, and uh, and when we eventually uh, found out that we would also connect, what can you say, the 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 mixture of fresh with some black metal elements with this sort of dystopian sci-fi uh, universe. So I guess the the hyper fresh uh, um, definition or sort of tag uh, connects to both sort of the the black metal speed elements of of the blast beats, but also the the you know sort of the the sci-fi themes that we bring into the you know the the lyrics uh, as well. Yeah, the debut album. Uh... The Great Acceleration comes out next month. So uh, debut album and the concept album at that. So how did this happen? Why is your debut album a concept album? Uh, um, are you asking if it is a concept album or or Isn't or? I just... <laughs> <laughs> well, um, um, actually, actually, I, I I like to say that it's that it's not a concept album, but it's a conceptual album. But uh, uh, I guess we can elaborate a little bit on that too. Uh, don't laugh so fucking much. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just it's, it's just that, that, that often often when you think about concept albums, you think about uh, sort of very specific narratives or storylines uh, implemented into a sort of a, a string, a series of of of, of, of musical tracks uh, where there is this common red thread throughout uh, um, um, the whole record and I guess that you can say that there is a red thread here but but to me it's not it's not a conceptual in I mean it's not a concept album in the sense that that it is the concept first and then the music sort of has to apply to that concept it's more the other way around that 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 the music does stand on its own at least in my opinion it was sort of written uh, 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 that way at least uh, so I hope it also it also um, 
it also comes out uh, in the other in the other end as such. But it but it's it's not it's not really. I mean, it's all based around the concept, but it's not uh, sort of as singular as as uh, other concept uh, albums or regular more uh, uh, strictly themed concept albums are. But we do have this, I mean, overall uh, theme of speed and acceleration based on this uh, French thinker, philosopher, Paul Virilio, who uh, coined uh, this sort of theory called dromology, uh, which is a theory of, of speed and acceleration. You could call him a speed theorist as well and the overall sort of um or what can you say the the, the fundamental thesis in promology is that that speed is sort of the driver of the world and of world history in in general um every innovation every invention um has always uh, to a certain extent accelerated the speed of of everyday life or of technology or in in other ways effectivized uh, um, how we go around doing things so instead of looking at you know class relations or economic uh, models or biology uh, it is in terms of speed that the world um, evolves and and uh, uh, yeah, develops. Um, and that sort of applies very well musically to metal, especially thrash metal, which has always been sort of obsessed with speed as a theme as well. Uh, and it also applies very well to the, the sort of the technological speed that you find in a lot of sci-fi stories. So it just seemed once, once I sort of stumbled across that sort of philosophy, it seemed very relevant um, to to bring into the music and to to connect these different what can you say uh these different realms of fresh metal philosophy and science fiction okay so how were you writing uh the music for this album and the backstory well um you can say that to a certain extent the writing process started a long time ago uh or i mean a couple of years ago because at, at least one of the tracks here uh the, the finishing track on the album called democracy uh was also released on our debut ep back in 2019 at band on all liberties but we we so we we had that sort of track already we, we made a few adjustments um but that was written back in 2018 2019 something like that um, um and then we you could say that we that we just expanded we i think that you could say that we found our style along the way and knew how to how to expand on it in a certain extent to a certain extent um and then it has mostly mostly been me coming up with either rough ideas uh, sketches or something more or less finished and then we have uh um riff control yeah then we, <laughs> then we have a couple of riff control entities in the band uh for example ken or our second guitarist morton um uh, of course our rhythm section frederick uh too to a certain extent as well but um then we have made adjustments along the way and figured out how to how to uh how to really cut it uh uh, uh so that we all found it, <laughs> so that we all were 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 uh, satisfied at least. Um, I don't there's know. There's a lot of a lot of back and forth. Yeah. For 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 some of the songs on the album, there there was a lot of back and forth. Mm. Not, and I guess them, I guess that you actually uh, uh, were so lucky that you avoided a lot of the back and forth because you came into yeah, the band nice. kind of <laughs> kind of late. So 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 I think Kenny came into the band around. January, February uh, last year, 2020, and we went into the studio to record in August. So, I mean, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the material was already written at, at that time. Well, then, for example, we have um, we have a major song on on the record, the third one called "Invention of the Shipwreck," which is sort of our proggy centerpiece uh, at sort of 11 minutes long, and you only have, I mean, five songs on the record so it takes up a lot of a lot of the space um a lot of the runtime and and i mean we 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 had we roughly had the finished the finished song when kelly entered the band um but then we figured out that 
that after we've been through all these different musical passages and transitions and different keys and different kinds of stuff that we want to go back to the intro at the outro and then make that sort of more uh, expanded and, and massive. And uh, I just told Canada that we could use a little spice <laughs> you know, towards the end of the bass. And there was a lot of room, a lot of space uh, to, to, to do something, for example, with the bass line. And then a week later, Canada just returned to our you know rehearsal and uh, had written a lengthy solo with some I mean almost shreddy parts sweeping and you know a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, I, I mean just a really well developed uh, thought out uh, uh, solo uh, to finish off the song and we we also thought that the song had peaked by the you know by the time we get to that section, but Kelly he just just went in there and made it peak again <laughs> towards the very end, uh, and and it made the song a lot better. Uh, uh, um, I think we all agree on that. So 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 you might not have been there when we came up with with sort of the you know the the foundations, the foundational riff or the groove or something like that, but uh, but uh, Kelly he did contribute in his own way. You can say like you said most of it was already written but i did try to go back through everything and spice it up where i where i could and and change up some spice some boy lines and... <laughs> yeah so it's also a bit of a bit of a weird time that your debut album is coming out um how is it to release such an important album at time like this um that's that's well it's good we didn't come out when we were originally planning which was like i don't know we were hoping for <laughs> december or something at, at the very beginning but... yeah i mean it's 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 i mean it it could be could have been better i mean i think we all i think we all can agree on that but uh but uh, uh thinking about how i mean how bad it has been with the covid 19 situation i mean things are beginning to open up uh, and and actually here in Denmark, I don't I don't know how the situation is in is in Finland uh, more specifically, but but here in Denmark we are. I mean there are ongoing uh, you know uh, plans and uh, uh, what can you say uh, for handling up um, um, negotiations. Yeah, of course, ongoing negotiations about how to reopen the country, and you actually have. Uh, uh, settled on on a plan so far, uh, where where the the venues will open up by May sixth, and uh, our release I mean our album comes out the day after, and we so we have we have scheduled our release show for for May eighth, which is I mean which is just I mean, it couldn't have, we we could have been more lucky when 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 it came to that. So 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 I mean in 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 that regard, I think we're actually really. Really lucky and and quite quite well off, you could say. I mean, it could have been a lot worse, but let's yeah. see what what happens over the summer. I mean, it can still suck ass in a few months' time. It could also start really rocking. <laughs> yeah, that sounds amazing, actually, because a lot of bands have to do the. I don't know how you feel about streaming gigs, but but a lot of bands had to resort to streaming gigs to you know publish mm, their yeah. new albums but uh did you have some kind of troubles with, as you said you were um, uh, recording last year did the corona play a role in there we had we did have um, a fair amount of shows lined up that got canceled but mm. then we could use that time to concentrate on on writing and recording and uh right in that in that pocket in the summer there was Actually, the restrictions weren't weren't that uh, intense here, mm. um, so we could go to the studio and then and then have some beers at the at, the, at Escobar mm. <laughs> afterwards. Um, but that was a pretty small window, so we we're also pretty lucky with that. Mm. I think. The actual thing that 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 when I mean when when all of the countries in the region are probably almost everywhere around the world when what when when different countries shut down i mean that was around february march 
here in Denmark, it was was uh, March 11th that it was sort of announced that you know, we're locked down from from now on. Um, and I mean, we of course had 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 everything planned. Then, of course, a couple of shows they they went out the window. That's what happens. But um, but to be honest, I think it probably made the album a bit more a bit better. <laughs> A bit more focused, probably, because we we suddenly had a lot of time to to not go out and you know, slam beers on yeah at different bars and you know just hang out and do nothing. So, yeah, so there's really nothing to do but, but practice. And so so <laughs> so, so, so actually so so it actually it actually sort of came. I mean, to us at least, it sort of came came around at a time that it it, it, it couldn't it probably couldn't have been. <laughs> better with the lockdown around you know the the months just before we we had to enter the studio i mean we still are a fairly new band um and 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 this was our first what can you say you know full studio uh, uh you know experience you no know, at, at, at least where we where you spent more i mean several weeks uh, uh recording and uh, and doing things over and uh, polishing and all that Cause also with with a with a sort of new guy in the band, there are some certain there are certain dynamics you have to you have to adjust to and uh, get used to as well. So so it was, I mean, it was all right overall. Four out of six, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, let's hope that the release show uh, happens. And well, it's a bit difficult, anyways, to plan things ahead right now or even impossible but uh like if we don't think about right now like where do, where would you like to see terminalist in like three years let's say oh that's a good question actually we want to play in finland <laughs> for sure. uh, actually i actually don't know if we have sort of fleshed that out i mean we we um um we have I guess you can say uh, ambitions, and 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 we have some sort of rough planning in our head that that at least extend to twenty twenty two probably. Uh, we would look. I mean, we would. Of course, the record comes out here in the month or in in May, and we don't really know about any summer festivals uh, yet. If it's even possible to 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 play there, of course, we would like to, you know, support this with a with a full two as well. That probably won't be till the fall, though, and it'll probably only be in Denmark. But let's see how, 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 how much hype we get, or if we get none at all. I mean, that's always a possibility too. But, but I think that 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 if 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 things go back more back to something that that we used to know uh, next year, I think I hopefully think that we you know would play a couple of 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 you know, larger uh summer festivals of course or hopefully get you know, gain gain some new audiences and uh i mean we're already thinking about you know our, our upcoming material as well so there will be you know a couple of releases planned uh in three years from now probably you know the the new a second album will be out faster and uh more aggressive and uh more I don't know, speedy. <laughs> I don't more, more more terminal than, than, than even more terminal than than the first one. Uh, uh, that one will probably be, be out, and then hopefully we we might play some international shows 